Hello, welcome back into the studio and I'm now on the next um, prompt for the Journal of Stitches, the Christmas version and the prompt that I'm actually following is the Nutcracker. In our house, my hubby has a very large collection of Nutcrackers so this one has got to be uh, super special for this book because obviously he be, he will be critiquing me <laughs> on on what it looks like um, done in fabric and applique. So I've got the pages, and again they're set up on the on the wadding ready. And I've got this background, which is that mesh, which I've used before on the snowman. And I've got that um, as the background. I've then used a bonder web which is a sticky paper that you use for applique to cut out all the little pieces. So I've cut some hair and I adapted this pattern <coughs> from one that was in a magazine. It wasn't quite right for what I needed. So I just adapted it um, for, you know, how I wanted my nutcracker to be and also based on some of the nutcrackers that we've got um, in our collection so I have made things slightly bigger to go underneath um, items or they might go underneath. no it needs to go underneath and then um, I've also sorted out for the other side of the page as well which is good so I've got his boots and his trousers so I based this one on the red and green as the journal is all based on, yeah, red and green. And at the moment, obviously, I'm just putting these in place to see what they will look like. And I've done the boots with boot um, tops like Sarah and Roxy did, where you just do um, a little a little bump. And I don't, I've done these in felt because I think shiny fabric I would have a, a nightmare with. So I've done those. And then I've done, I've cut little bits of gold trim for his boot pieces. I've got nice trim for his front of his jacket. Because if you look at all the nutcrackers, they're all different. I mean, the modern ones at the moment, you can get chefs, you can get, um, <laughs> Um, one's painted pink, purple, any colour that you really want to, you can get them now. But I like the traditional ones for this book. And then I've got one for his hat. And also I took a bit of the trim and I've literally sewed it together so it forms almost a, a curl and that will be... Um, start of his feathers and I will put some feathers probably in there I've got some for his cuffs because he needs some trim around his cuffs and also I've got his epaulets so I've done I've popped for his epaulets just two bits of of braid for his those and then I'll put some buttons um, on as well on on the side of the page I'm going to continue the the ribbons and I've got some Christmas tree um, lovely ribbon there and I'm going to put some pom-poms along the edge there. On this page I'm going to put the green snowflakes which I've had on previous pages and I've got this really delicious Indian trim, um, you know, which is just, just luxurious. And I'm going to pop that there almost like um, a part of either uniform or dresses of the time. Hey, found his moustache. Now, I haven't cut out his eyes and things like that yet. Um, and he's a rosy cheeks. His rosy cheeks, I will probably... Um, colour in with some watercolour pencils but his eyes um, I need to cut those out and sort those out I've got one of my crocheted 
um, snowflakes. I've popped that in. The word that I'm going to do is rejoice for this one, purely because it's gold, but also because obviously it's a ballet um, and it's, you know, it's a fantastic sort of fantastical world. And I've got these little tiny um, nutcrackers soldiers and I'm going to place those on there like that so that they're technically his part of his um, platoon um, there and of course this lace has got to go in between the pages there so that's roughly what um, this page is going to be and then um, I will think about how I'm going to position him, what I'm going to stand him on, whether I'm going to stand him on anything at all. Because at the moment he's just floating. So I don't know whether I want to put something, you know, um, along here um, to sort of ground him. Or I'm just going to cut this so that it's it's got an edge. I'm not sure yet. So as per usual. Um, I'll go away and do some stitching and then I'll show you how I've completed the page um, when it's newly done. So I hope you've enjoyed this part of the process and I'll see you shortly. Hello, welcome back into the studio. Um, after I've been stitching the um, nutcracker together and as you can see I finished this one took longer I think than any of the other pages because I felt that there were so many different pieces to put on and as you could tell by the stop motion it did take some time to actually sew all the pieces um, but I've really enjoyed um, doing it and these little pieces are little wooden um, nutcrackers that I've actually added um, to it to almost show that there's a there's a little mini army he's got his troop um, of nutcrackers um, similar to our collection of nutcrackers in the house um, so I've really enjoyed um, putting this one together and using up things that um, have sort of symbolized this ribbon have I've used all the way through and it's been nice that was the last bit of the ribbon um, that I could actually use because I'd already made a bow knowing that I needed a bow somewhere in so that was the that was that was nice to do and I did finish the back of it which was the candy canes um, to go with the the gingerbread um, house um, and of course there's a bit of muslin which I've also used in here I've tended to use something on the this page that then goes into the next page and um I'll show you a quick flick through um, in the next video. So I hope you've enjoyed looking through um, at the Nutcracker and also the, the fun bit of the stop motion. I hope you, you're actually carrying on and doing yours, your pages or your stitching for Christmas too and you're enjoying it. Um, as the days are getting closer now um, to the big day, as they always do every year, it always seems to come around very quickly in the end. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed, please could you subscribe and you'll then see the rest of the pages and the flip through video. I'll see you soon.